hello guys you're welcome to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make the parallax 3d photo animation in premiere pro and photoshop now you can create this effect using both premiere pro and photoshop and you can also create this effect entirely in premiere pro so in my next video i'm going to be showing you how to create this effect without photoshop so visit the link on my description to see how to create this effect without photoshop so the first thing you're going to do is to select your image and open your image with adobe photoshop Then select the quick select tool over here and select your object over here. Now when the selection is complete, you go over to select modify and smooth set your radius to two pixels then select ctrl j so this will create a new layer with the object of your selection now disable the top layer so click on the little eye icon hold your control button and select your top layer so it will reselect your object then select the bottom layer now go to select modify expand and set your pixel to 15 hit ok then click on shift plus f5 and hit ok again enable the top layer now save as a psd format so let's open premiere pro now come over to your project panel right click and hit on import now you select your PSD file, import as individual layers and click OK. Now this is going to create a folder, double tap your folder and you will find the background and the subject. You create a sequence with the background and then you bring in the subject right on top. So if I disable the top layer you can see the background. And if I enable, if I disable the background, you can see the subject. Now select the top layer, go back to your effects control, set the scale, initial scale from the beginning to 100, and move a little bit and set the scale to 110. Now move this to the extreme end. Select the background, set the initial scale to 110. Toggle on, now move to the end and set the scale to 100. And take this to the end. Alright, so a quick preview. So it's already looking nice as you can see. So the next thing you want to do is to add overlays to it. Select your light leak and drop it above your layers. Reduce the length to match the length of your layers. Now you want to scale or set to frame size. Make sure it's properly fit. And then you change the blend mode to screen. All right guys, so if we play this from the beginning, you can see what it looks like. So you can go ahead and increase or reduce the opacities of the overlay. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial to the end. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.